What's up everyone? Welcome to the last video of the year! Well, I gotta say that I never expected to make this video, like ever, that I would make a video of all the things I made in the year and release this video, so this is a big surprise to me. Um, I started as you guys know, or maybe not really, I'm gonna give you a little bit of the background of the whole crochet thing in my life in existence. So basically after trying to understand a little bit of where um, my career was going as a journalist slash political scientist, I decided that I didn't want to do that anymore. I was always very close to fashion, I was always very close to make this decision for my career instead of journalism, but I just didn't. And here I am now in 2023, I actually decided to change careers back in 2021 or something like this. Um, and and here I am. So I know a lot of things happened, I was trying to study a little bit how to uh, get into this for real because I also had to learn things, I still have to learn things and it is really impressive that like I came up with this whole new thing this year. Like I had plans in my mind of things I wanted to do that I might still do in the future but like crochet was not so much like there. <laughs> crochet was really not there, it's just like one video I watched washed in a bag that I wanted to try to make just to, I don't know, try something different and it became a thing and it, it is a thing now. I just watched a video, one video and everything changed and I am really, really happy about it because here I am making this video on the 29th of December of 2023. <laughs> so over here and here and here are all the items I made this year, all the items of all the crochet things I made this year and I am gonna show some of them like the bags um, and tell a little bit of the story behind every single item I made. I'm gonna start from, I don't know if I'm gonna start from the first item I made because I think I wanna, I wanna create a little bit of suspense in that one. So I'm gonna start randomly with the bags. Let's go to the video. Finally! The first bag, which is not the first bag, as I said earlier on, is this one. This is the first bag of this video. <laughs> it's so funny to see this nowadays. So this is the first bag I made after the first one. I'm gonna keep repeating this because this is not the first bag. So this bag here I made to put my camera on. Every time I travel, I think my camera deserves a bag and I made a bag. So since I was pretty much in the mood for making this kind of squares here, I decided that I wanted to make a square bag like this, a granny square bag, because that's what I knew uh, how to do it. And I made this bag uh, for a big trip that we had planned this year that did not happen. So I actually used this bag somewhere else in another trip. I made this bag to go to Canada this year. So when I went, I got a lot of compliments. Canadians are really nice. They really complimented my little bag and I was like, that's so nice. So this is the first bag. Like, um, I already made some uh, some different things, which is like adding like some sides, like a bottom. So then I could give a little bit of like shape to the bag. So it was not like just, you know, this. So I don't know if that actually worked. It is still a bit like sloppy and stuff. That's my second bag, my second ever crochet thing that I made. So it could be be worse. It's okay, you know? It is what it is. So I am also rating my stuff because I feel like I should. And this bag here, I'm gonna rate this bag a... <sighs> A 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. I think 7 out of 10 is, is fair just because I still wear it and I really like it and I got compliments. So 7 out of 10 and that's it. To the next item. Another bag I made was this one. This is the third bag I made. It's also made of granny squares and it has a bit of like a, a different shape compared to some, some of the other bags I made. So this bag here, I made this bag um, as a challenge because I wanted to make a bag in three days to use this bag in my birthday in London this year. Did I finish? Who knows? And something really nice about this bag. This bag is history. This bag is a complete history. Um, it was my first YouTube video. My first YouTube video was me making this 
bag and um, you can also follow how much I improved on making YouTube videos I guess because this video here is just like I don't know it could be better it could be so much better but I was still very shy I was like I don't know how can I be nice and stuff so I think I'm better nowadays so Rating this bag, this bag here, I would rate a 7 out of 10 as well because um, I still see some some lines, like some, some yarn, some thread kind of hanging around. But I think like the finishing could be better. Since I'm the, the only one wearing it, I think it's fine. Blame it on me. And also, I still wear this bag quite a lot. So to the next item. Now, the next bag. The next bag was the moment where I decided that I needed to take an extra mile with style of clothing I make. I was like, I am tired of making these granny squares, floral things. I just need to embrace my own style and the things I like and put into crochet. And I'm still in the process of making this, so like, you guys should really stay tuned for my next, my future projects because they're gonna look different. I'm gonna take them to here. I know that this might sound a bit bad, but like, here and you're gonna be like yo can I please buy this and you will be able to this is the bloody bag this is the bloody bag um and the idea of this bag which is literally kind of like have the white front and the red back then like these things hanging here would be like blood drops the idea was just meant to be more like wavy kind of thing um it doesn't look wavy it looks like some kind of things hanging but like nowadays when I look at it I think it still looks pretty good and I also added like uh, beads red beads on the tips I still have way more beads to add so I'm gonna create more of this but I still have plans to make another one of this but using an alpha pattern I could just like have the bag I wanted to make but I think I would like to try to actually make it the way I imagined in the first place I got a lot of nice comments about this bag on my videos which is cool so like some people liked it some people asked if they could purchase it and I'm like wow I would give this bag a also 7 out of 10 I think I know I'm, I'm being very repetitive here but just because I don't wear it and because I can still improve it so let's see it to the next title <laughs> The next bag is this one. This one, uh, out of all the bags I made, is my favorite one because I like the colors. It looks all right. Like there is no like thread coming out of anything. It's pretty much like fine. It was the first time I added a tag on my bag. I really love this bag and I really wear this bag everywhere I go. I am wearing it. Pretty sure it is the thing I wear the most of everything I made. So rating this one, I would give it 10 out of 10, okay? I'm not gonna lie, I like, I like the way it looks. It is 10 out of 10 because I wear it a lot. It looks good, it looks nice, it's fashionable. It's more of like a Gabby style, so I do like this one. But this is how we finish. We finish the chapter of crochet bags. I made a lot of bags this year. My next item is going to be a bag, but it's going to be a the bag. So you guys stay tuned for the next video. That's the end for the bag, so to the next item. Now we're moving to different items and now you guys have the beanie. The Wednesday beanie is the second item of my first crochet collection and it's just basically a half black and half white crochet beanie and it was the first time I made a beanie in my existence. So I was kind of like following some tutorials here and there and I wanted to make a like half black and half white beanie because I think it looks super fashionable. So this was the, the second item item of my crochet collection and I love this beanie. This beanie is like, can you go wrong with this? You cannot go wrong with this. It's like, it was a super simple uh, item to make to be honest, it was not complicated. So rating this beanie, this beanie, um, I'm gonna give a 9 out of 10. I'm gonna give a 9 out of 10 for this beanie because I think this beanie is amazing. Generally speaking, I love this beanie. I also got someone asking me if I was selling this beanie. You guys are great. You guys need to keep saying this because that just makes my day. So moving to the next item, to the next item. The next item is my scarf. This weird scarf that I made for my collection. I, 
I still don't know what I think about the scarf because I guess you guys know that there is this part here and this part here was made with textile dye I, I'm still considering to like get textile dye again and just getting like until here dip into black textile dye again so then I'll have like a darker shade and yeah the top is just like white it is also very like fuzzy this scarf here is still it is still super comfortable and warm I like it you know I like it rating this um, I'm gonna give a 8 out of 10 so yeah 8 out of 10 I haven't I haven't uh, worn this yet because I wasn't here I made it and then that was Christmas and everything and it wasn't Portugal so like Portugal you don't necessarily need something like this so the next items the next items the next items are pair of socks this first pair here of socks which is basically like this is a black and white um, striped uh, pattern so yeah they are really nice they are comfortable they are warm they're nice the other pair of socks I made were these ones this one here the fact that I added the um, orange because I really like the orange the orange makes all the difference I haven't done this this one is Fine. Rating them separately. This one here I rate a 9 out of 10 because they really look nice. These ones here I am rating them a 7 out of 10 because I think something went wrong and I need to figure it out what I'm gonna do. And now we're moving to the next and last non-wearable item. Who's ready? Item I made as a gift. It was my first gift, my first crochet gift to someone, and it is this little mushroom pillow. And oh, there is the other side of it, which is like all fuzzy, all cute, and everything. So I, I also added the fuzziness here on the bottom, like boss, you know. For this one, I'm just gonna like crochet the whole length and width of a cushion and I'm gonna make the mushrooms separately and I'm gonna sew them so then you have a little bit of like this uh, 3D and for this side here I noticed that like because I was just like I literally I'm sorry I am really excited was like you have the thread undoing the thread like this so then you will have like different you have like different little um, threads and then I was just kind of like trying to make them look fuzzy by doing something like this so I was just like ripping them until I got like this effect here so this is what I did in the in the side of the, the cushion all over it and you have like this fuzzy mossy kind of um, style and I made like a kind of like a huge mushroom Room, and I also added the fuzziness in the mushroom as well in the white part in the red part I made some little ones here on the bottom just to give like a nice effect I also did on this side like this I just asked my mother-in-law if I could just like bring it back home and put the fin finalized basically and just saw like yes so here it is finalized my first cushion raising this one I'm gonna reach this one a 10 out of 10 okay because this one here is really nice I think it, it, it is really cool and I love the fact that I decided to do this because this is like so cool so now we are going to move to the wearable items and here we go so this is the first first wearable item I made it is a top a top top this top like first of all I added the sleeves later on it just used to end here this is the sleeves now I added them like uh, recently yeah and um, I added the sleeves later on because after making sleeves for the first time and attaching them I was like you can attach the sleeves on this thing don't be afraid because I was like I don't think it can I don't know how to so I gave up but I added the sleeves now and this is how it looks like this is uh, the only item I made to be very honest with you that I saw and I liked it and I was like I want to recreate this which is a top made by Carla Suave I don't know how to pronounce her name it doesn't look exactly like hers because hers has like two laces that you just like tied in the front so I just decided to close and I, I still have to close this a bit here because I, I, feel, I feel like I'm a bit exposed and I don't like it but I'm gonna like close it here and then it's gonna, it's gonna have this shape this item is something special like for me because I was making bags because I was trying 
trying some things here and there like making a wearable gave me the perspective that I could make things to be worn. Uh, rating this this top I think I will give I will give a 10 out of 10 because like it is extremely wearable it is extremely wearable um, and it looks really cute but I will give a 10 out of 10 for this one just because it is special it was my first wearable and it's just like wearable more than wearable it's amazing so yeah moving to the next one this is another wearable i made this is the first jumper i made this is this is it this is uh-huh a little bit of a uh, little bit of considerations about this jumper so this is my first jumper and this jumper i do not follow any tutorial or pattern or motif or anything for it like i just basically did free hand completely maybe that is why this jumper doesn't look very very neat or very very nice yeah so like i failed massively on the uh, on the sleeves because i didn't know how to make that this part here is a bit like a bit tight but it's not like tight that i couldn't wear it you know when you're making wearable and you don't know exactly how to make wearables because you're just you're you're a beginner you will make mistakes and the, this is my biggest mistake it is still wearable i wore this jumper in canada when i went to canada rating this one I'm gonna rate a 6 out of 10 just because of the sleeves. If you disagree on any of my ratings, and if you have a different opinion, just let me know in the comments. Let's move to the next item. Oh. So you saw that jump right and then you see this one here now. <laughs> yeah. This is the first item I made for my first crochet collection. It is the chest jumper because obviously it looks like a chess board. God, the difference. The difference for this other jumper is just like outrageous. This is a wearable that I wear and I am so proud of this jumper. You guys have no idea. I love this jumper. Oh my God. Like it was really hard to make this jumper. Making square by square like is like a single crochet and making single crochet, it is like um, um, a burden that you have to carry while you're making something because they are so boring. It is so boring making projects out of single crochet because eventually you're just so tired of it. I made cuffs which is something I've never done before. I made cuffs. This jumper is ah one of my favorite items of everything I made because it's just like it took me to a completely different level of uh, what I thought crochet could be. So I love this jumper. I will rate 10 out of 10. I really like it. It's something that I wear. It is something that is finished. It is something that looks good. It is something fashionable. It is something my style and I have nothing else to say to the not the last item yet but to the last wearable and this jumper <laughs> this jumper um this is the last wearable item i made this year um so this is the forest jumper this is the forest jumper i had an idea of making a jumper that would have my favorite colors and i came up with this this is the last wearable I made for my first crochet collection. The responses I got for this jumper were that they were all so nice. Like a lot of people really liked it. I decided to create a Reddit account and I posted this on Reddit and I got like the nicest comments you can possibly think about getting in, in your life. Like rating this jumper, I'm gonna rate this jumper nine out of 10. Like I'm not rating a 10 out of 10 because I think the sleeves could be a bit smaller. <laughs> But like, I think the design, it is really nice. The pattern is really nice. The color combination is really nice. I can't believe I made this. I can't believe I made this. Like, I can't believe I started with a, a, a super not very nice granny square bag and I, I made this a few months later. So this is really impressive to me. But now we're gonna move to the last item, which as crazy as it sounds, is not the last item, is the first thing I made. And I wanted to do this because I wanted to give you guys a perspective of how, how much I changed how much it changed and improved. Let's move to the last slash first item of everything I crocheted this year as a beginner. Are you guys ready? Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god. So this is first 
item I made this year ever. My first crochet item ever. My first, my first project. It's this Brandy Square bag. This is it. This is the strap. This is it. This is it. Like I added like something on the inside and it looks terrifying, okay? It looks terrifying, but this was it. This was the first, first item I made in March this year. Like, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna cry because I cry a lot. I'm a crybaby, but oh god. Okay. <laughs> I need to breathe. So, yeah, I don't know how everything started and why it started. I just, I don't know, I think like life works in different ways and I always took the extra mile, I was, I always pushed into the last minute and I finished every single thing I proposed myself to make. I never thought it could become a thing, I never thought it could become like um, my business, I never thought it could become my 9 to sometimes 11 p.m., you know, like, and I have so many ideas in my head right now and you will see the beginning of this on my next, my last item of uh, for my crochet collection, which is the bag. Uh, you will have an idea of what I'm talking about when I say that I am taking the extra mile and actually pushing to make crochet things that are my style. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys liked this video and if you want to do some ratings, go for it. I want to give a huge hug for all the people that subscribe to this channel. Um, I have like almost a thousand subscribers and this is this is like huge for me because I know how YouTube is like such a, a hard platform to grow. Um, I got so many support, so much support and so many nice comments about um, my creations and I think this is the environment I want, uh, not only for my videos but for everyone that are this life trying to do something completely different, changing careers. You're great. So if you like this video, please Please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on my social media. I am there as FoxyGS. And thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching my last video of the year. And bye! And of course, Happy New Year!